So I was born with a genetic condition called cystic fibrosis. My parents were told that I wasn't going to live past 12 years old. And I went in for about three interviews and I was so confident this was the one. And I didn't get it. That was really hard. For the longest time, I'd also wanted to be a dad and I'm gay, so it's not like I could be 16 and pregnant in the backseat of a Chevy or something. Over 400 people came. I was one of 10 girls that got called back. He picked everybody in front of who he wanted and he didn't pick me and I was like, wow, I've worked my butt off for this. So here we were, newly married, and I didn't have a job. But it was a time when there wasn't very much support in regards to women's rights. I was playing mug football with a bunch of my friends. My kneecap got severely dislocated and I ended up having to have surgery and it was really a terrifying time for me. She read the script, I got it back, every single page had notes on it. This is the rejection part. You should take writing classes, you're not funny. I remember the x-ray technician saying to me, you need to be checked into the hospital immediately. Everything is supposed to be golden. It was a business school, and I went to an Ivy League business school, and I just was like devastated from not having anything happening and seeing all friends, things happen for them. I know it's hard to understand right now, but every delay has a blessing. By the time we're 30, we're expected to have everything figured out. But when we're still failing, getting rejected and pushbacks, we realize life doesn't work like that. Often what appears as a curse can be our biggest blessing. Every breakdown can be a breakthrough. Every failure can be a step forward. This man played Severus Snape in Harry Potter. He studied graphic design before drama, going back to school to follow his passion at the age of 26. That was in 1972. He got his first BBC role in 1978. His first film role? Not until 1988, when he was 42 years old. His name is Alan Rickman. And this person, prior to publishing the first entry in the series, this person was a single mother on welfare and almost suicidal. During this time, she wrote Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone while looking into becoming a teacher. She was also dealing with an ex-husband and all the challenges of being a single mother. She, of course, is JK Rowling. Remember this, someone graduated at 21, but waited six years to get a job. Someone had no education, but was a millionaire at 21. Someone got married at 20, but divorced five years later. Someone got married at 35, but found everlasting love. It's not about being quick, instant, or now. It's about your timing. Something may be delayed, it may even be denied, but it doesn't die unless you let it. Every delay has a blessing, if you keep going. I just kept writing, and then I think less than one year later, I got an Emmy nomination for co-writing an episode of, of Seinfeld that opened up my career. I then went on to run a production company for like almost 20 years or so. We won an, an Emmy award. I became the uh, a cultural coordinator and then the production manager of the public television network of the state. And then I was hired by a 4A agency as a vice president. And then I opened my own agency. There's no statistic and there's no number for someone's desire to fight or someone's fight inside of them. Well, maybe I wasn't the right person for that particular job, but he remembered me for another job. A year later, I found myself at the starting line of a sprint triathlon. And all told, I ended up doing over 50 races, including four Ironman distance races. And then with my son and having a kid, I mean, I just didn't think that that was just not going to happen, and it did. Empathy and gratitude is what makes me want to help other people, because I know what they're going through. You remember your donor, and you honor them by helping others. And I believe that your mind definitely affects you if you're not in that mindset to stay positive, especially when you're challenged with an illness. And everything that you're going through right now, no matter how painful, and how hard it is for you to get through, you'll get through it, and you'll be stronger because of it.